Hi, David Myrovitz here from Trinov Audio. Today, I'm just gonna take you through some of the advanced settings that you might want to use. Now, there is a lot of options in here and really 90% of them you, you do not need to worry about, but I'm just gonna take you through some of the most used and most useful functions. First of all is the display smoothing. By default, we set this to a third octave. This is very easy to read. You can increase that resolution to a point up to 124th octave of an octave, but honestly, it actually gets really very, very difficult to read the graphs. If you want to do that, you can do that on individual speakers, but if you're trying to look at the whole system um, as one, I would not go higher than a third octave. It becomes very difficult to read. The other settings that we have down here, for the surround settings in particular, we have the early reflection correction. You can turn this on and off, and you can do it for either the fronts or the surrounds. So if you don't want to do that early reflection correction, you can turn that off on the surrounds. And what that can often do is just make things feel a little bit more spacious. If you're in a very damp room, you can actually use this to your advantage to make it a bit uh, more sort of spacious sounding, maybe at the rear, maybe at the front, whichever you feel is most appropriate. We then have the remapping mode, which is a very useful function. So if you just want to do remapping on the LCR speakers, let's say you've got a TV with a center speaker below the screen, you might just want to remap that to bring it up to the center level, but you may not want to do anything with the surrounds or vice versa. Here, we can just toggle that on and off as required. Moving a bit further down, we have the calibration settings here in the middle. These are very, very useful functions. Now, there are times where you have problems measuring speakers and you'll get error messages like crest factor too low or unstable position for speaker. There's a, a number of different reasons why you might get this message, but typically um, it's for a speaker that's struggling with its off axis response. If you've got a speaker that's just firing straight down and you're very far away from it, you're really gonna struggle to measure it in that position. So it, there comes a point where you, know, you can't angle that speaker, you can't change that physical problem. So you just need to kind of get through it with the measurement process. This will allow you to do that. So we can either lower the threshold or the most common thing to do is actually set the maximum number of measurements here from unlimited, which it's set to by default, to three. And what that's gonna do is the optimizer is gonna take three bursts and three readings from that speaker. It's gonna take that as the best option and then move on. When it's set to unlimited, it will just continue measuring, continue measuring until it gets a reading that it likes. Obviously, if it's a speaker that can't be physically moved or angled, you're never gonna get that. Uh, you're never gonna get that, that reading that it's after. So we do just sometimes need to accelerate that process on by setting that setting there. There's really only one other setting that you will tend to use, and that is working with the IIR and FIR settings. Now, what we can do here is we can actually increase the length of the filters in the FIR, which can be quite a useful function. We can increase the number of IIR filters as well. So if you're having a particular problem in a particular frequency range, we can apply more or less filter taps to actually accommodate for that. But the most common one down here is the resolution of energy response in the IIR filters. This is very common. You may not want to do this for the whole frequency range. You might just want to concentrate this on the base where you can add more taps of correction, further correction at a higher resolution. So you can move that all the way up to a 24th of an octave and add some really very finite correction into the base region. Now, everything else, honestly, you really don't need to look at they really are only required for very, very selective instances and installations. And if you think you might need to use any of these settings, please contact us at Trinov Audio. Um, best thing to do is I'll speak to your sales manager or speak to our support department, and we can tell you whether you do or do not need to use those settings. Otherwise, you can pretty much ignore them. Okay, so that's a quick overview of the advanced settings. Thank you for watching.